hydrology log, Great Lakes region. A thick layer of snow covers the ground. It's beautiful, peaceful, and almost completely silent. <laughs> you came shooting right out of the snow. Oh, incredible. I'm a rough grouse. We do that. I'm Pani. I'm a hydrologist, which means I'm here to study the water in your environment. I don't see any water, just snow. That's the truly amazing thing. Snow is water. In the spring, all this snow will melt and flow back into the river and fill the lakes. You mean I'm going to have to wait till spring to get some quiet around here? Oh, don't worry. I'll work quietly. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, how do I make this thing stop? <laughs> gotcha. Hmm, winter storm alert? <sighs> You don't need that noisy thing to tell you that. And I didn't even have time to get lunch. Oop, Not cold enough for a snowstorm. Ah, but that rain is clearly freezing when it hits the cold ground. Uh, better find shelter. Hey, mind if I join you down here? <sighs> you again. Sorry to barge in. But could I stay with you until the storm passes? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Name's Gus. You can stay, but just try to be quiet. Ah, I see. Uh, you use your wings to create an underground shelter. And then the snow traps our body heat inside. Huh, it's just like an igloo. Hmm. Oh, right. Quiet. Oh, this silly thing again. <clears throat> This reminds me of a time that I really had to be quiet. I was on the side of a mountain in the Himalayas, and if I made uh, so much for quiet, avalanche. <laughs> so, I waited for the right moment and jumped onto the yak's back, and we raced away. Oh, did I talk all night? Yes, yes, you did. Guess I got a little carried away. Anyway, I think the storm's passed. So, thank you for sharing your shelter, Gus. I'll be going now. I said I'll be going now. Uh, right now. Huh. Oh dear, the rain must have formed a hard crust of ice over the hole. Which means we're... Stuck. Precisely. Where are you going? Away from you! It's an instinct! Oh! What's going on? Oh! We are completely buried. There must have been a big snowstorm. So you're saying we're trapped? Yes, yes! But fortunately, like all good Arctic foxes, I have hidden food supplies in every room. Ooh. All my food! Um, gone? Gone? Gone where? I use your food to feed my kids. You have kids? Ah, no wonder you would not leave. Uh huh. You still mad at me? <sighs> no, no. But we are still stuck. And it's going to get a lot, lot colder. I'm scared, Papa. Me too. What are we gonna do? What I should have done in the first place. Sound the octo alert. <laughs> octo agent Natquick, report please. <laughs> the captain means, are you enjoying your time off? No, no, I am trapped in my burrow by a big snowstorm. Hmm. That sounds bad, Professor. And it gets worse, worse. My family home has been overrun by a red fox and his kids. I'm not surprised. Temperatures have been warmer than usual in the Arctic, so red foxes are free to move further north and take over Arctic fox dens like yours. Yes, yes. And now we are stuck here together and they've eaten all the food. Don't worry, old friend. We'll mount a rescue mission right away. Oh, thank you, thank you. There's another problem, Captain. Red foxes often migrate too far north, and then they aren't ready for Siberia's bitter cold. Hmm. 
Then we haven't a moment to lose. Shallington, Dashy, with me to the Octoray. <sighs> to avoid any more problems, I will stay on this side of the den, and you stay on that side. And once we are safe, you will find your own home. Understand? Yes, yes? Yes, yes. yes. Good, good. <sighs> <laughs> I'm cold. Me too. Same here. Ah, oh, it's not your fault, little ones. Come, come. I've got warm Arctic fur. <sighs> okay, okay, you as well. Uh, uh, you know, you're not such a bad guy after all for an Arctic fox. Uh. Nor you for a red fox. Clearly, you are good, good papa. Ow! Oh! <laughs> this is more slow than I'd like to go with. Oh, no! <laughs> well, that was exciting. Yeah. Well, maybe for you, Parney, but I want to get back to the ocean. The waves out there aren't nearly as scary as that wave of ice. Agreed. And I know just how to get you back where you belong. Barney to Octore. Come in, Octore. How's it going down there, Parney? I've got an injured skewer with me. A skewer? These winds must have blown him far off course. That's right. We could use your help getting him back to the ocean. Cracking <gasps> ice! Quick, quick, Barney! Run before the ice breaks! I've got a sinking feeling about this! Where'd they go? Underground river! First we discover water above ground, now below! <laughs> Fascinating! Fascinating, yes. But right now we need to save Pani and the skewer. I guess we'll just have to see where the river takes us as we go with the flow! Yeah, I've had just about enough flow going for the day. If we're going to help them, we need to know where that river's going. Hmm. We can hear where the water is, but we cannot see where it's going. But maybe the Octoray can. Seems like a good chance to test the new radar imaging system. Look, look! We can see the underground river. Honey, this radar imaging lets us see all of the water under the ice. Sounds exciting! But right now, I'd be excited if I could just see where I'm going. <laughs> in Antarctica. We can see where the underground river is leading, Pani. We're going to catch you before you go over the falls. But how do we do that? That parachute should do the trick. Activating hover mode. Professor, keep an eye on the controls. Parachute? This is no time to abandon sheep. By my calculations, they will hit the waterfall in 10 seconds. I'd say closer to six. Five. Four. Just go with the flow in three. Two! One! Ah! Yes, yes! Oh, my paddle board! So, what's so unusual about this glacier, Pearl? <laughs> Dashi didn't see, Quasi, but... Shiver me whiskers! It's as pink as a flamingo! It sure is! And I think I know why. It's strawberry flavoured? <laughs> no, it's algae flavoured. There's red algae growing in the snow. That's why it looks pink and why it's melting so fast. See? Normal snow is bright white. Most sunlight just bounces off it. But pink snow doesn't reflect as much light. More sunlight gets through. 
and melts the snow much faster. The only way to slow the melt is to get rid of the algae. But how will we do that? Hmm. <gasps> Don't worry, matey. We can just wash it off, like swabbing the deck of a pirate ship. There's algae beneath the surface, too. That's what makes the snow look pink. Some even call it watermelon snow. Oh, watermelon? You're making me hungry again. <gasps> That's it, Quasi. Oh, you're brilliant. I am? We need to find something that can eat the algae. <laughs> something that eats algae. I am brilliant. Shillington, are you there, matey? I'd need to know what kind of creature eats algae. Algae? Um, a man or shrimp. In fact, they're often called algae-eating shrimp. Brilliant. Thanks, matey. Dashi Takwazi, the rest of the glaciers look normal. Any word on why that one is pink? I'll show you when you get here, Dashi. But right now, we need all the Amano shrimp you can find right away. On it. I came as fast as I could. It wasn't easy to find them. Me hearties, you're in for a treat. Ooh. <laughs> you get to eat a glacier full of yummy red algae. Quasi, shrimp live in liquid water. They can't eat algae from snow. Uh, I knew that. I mean, we could give it a try. Oh, that's very nice of you, but the cold might make you terribly sick. Oh dear, I'd better get you home right away. I'm so sorry about the mix-up. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. I thought we had it all figured out. Well, Shellington must know of another algae-eating creature. Shellington? Pearl, how are things going? Uh, not well, I'm afraid. A man or shrimp can't eat algae off a glacier. Oh, jumping jellyfish. I didn't know it was glacial algae. I, uh, might have left that bit out. What you need are ice worms. You're likely to find some on other glaciers nearby. We'll do that. Thanks, Shellington. Ah, hello. Hello and goodbye. This is our territory. We don't share it with nobody, so move along. Uh, don't worry, we don't want your territory. But you need to get off this mountain. It's not safe. Don't be silly. We're mountain goats. We always graze here. This is where our food is. See all the rings on my horns? That means I'm a very old goat. <clears throat> I've lived on this mountain for a long time, and I'm telling you, we're perfectly safe. But there are rock slides heading your way. Ha ha, says you. I don't see any rock slides. Now go back where you came from and leave us alone. Um, please, if you stay where you are, you'll get hurt. You need to come down the mountain. I've always heard that mountain goats are stubborn. Then you heard right. Are you all right? Well, it's a good thing I have these tough hooves. With special pads for gripping. I see what you mean. Seems like we are in danger up here. We need to move, now! Agreed. Follow me. Everyone, this way! <laughs> Better hurry, that rock slide is coming fast. Jump! Run. Ah, ah, ah. That's it, keep moving. <laughs> well, hold on, Pawnee. I know you're a good jumper, but you're not a mountain goat. We don't usually do this kind of thing, but I imagine you two need a little help getting across, so, uh, hop on. Thanks, very kind of you. Let's go! Yet. Then we'd better keep moving. Tweak, get ready. Ready, Cap. Get in front of the gun. I'll cover you. All righty. Follow me. All yours, Cap. Thanks, Tweak. Hold on, everyone. This could.
could get bumpy. It looks like the flood and the lava won't reach your position on the mountain. Everyone is officially safe. Peso, sure is nice to see you again. You too, Barney. Has everybody in the herd arrived safe and sound? Definitely. Oh, wait. Where's Stefan? Stefan? Stefan! Where do you go? Dashi, we've got a missing reindeer. Stefan! Stefan! Oh. Uh, I see him. He's at the top of that ridge. Oh, yes. I'll be able to get a good view of the action from up here. Stefan! Oh, Dad, you've got to see this. It looks so cool. <laughs> Stefan! Uh, oh, oh, my leg! Hey, so, Pani, Stefan is stuck at the bottom of the ravine, and flood water is starting to fill it up. Oh no, his leg is trapped under some rocks. I must have some rope in here somewhere. Maybe I can get him with the octograpper. Ah, I can't get close enough. Whatever you do, you need to do it fast. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going in! And I'm coming with you! Activating Octorape Hover Mode! Uh, uh, Honey, did you find that rope? Got it! With that, thanks. <laughs> oh, that's better. Thank you. Hot lava is going to pour into this ravine any moment now. We'll be in hot water if we don't hurry. We've got you. Grab on. <laughs> yeah. We're ready to come up. All right, everybody. On the count of three. One, two, three. Pull! <laughs> Pull! Uh, 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 uh. Stefan! Dad! Oh, thank goodness you are all right. Hey, stop! <laughs> I'll take you back to your nest. You could get in a bunch of trouble out here. Uh, last. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, me and my. Huh? Phew, that was a close one. <laughs> now, let's get you safely home and dried off. Come on, little Dormouse. Where did you go? <gasps> ah I've got you now. Ah! Ah! You're, You're not, not a, a Dormouse. dormouse. <laughs> Pardon me, my mistake. I believe my breakfast just headed that away. Pony, Tweak, how is your search going? My Dormouse is safe and sound back at the nest. I just put my Dormouse at the nest too. Good. There's a hungry weasel out here, and I think he's after the dormice. Oh, weasels are good hunters. I just hope I can get to the sleepy dormouse before he does. Hmm, maybe we should give that weasel another dormouse to hunt. I give you the Robo Dormouse. 
Now, just have to lure the weasel with it and keep him busy trying to catch it while you and Shellington find that last dormouse. I hope it works. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Almost done, Tweak. We have the Dormouse in our sights. <laughs> Problem! Our real Dormouse is headed straight for the Robo Dormouse and the Weasel. Then time for some invasive maneuvers. <laughs> yes, finally. Now let's get you home before that Weasel realizes he's been tricked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Weasel. Oh, you're pretty smart. You out weasel the weasel. But I'm still very hungry. Oh, I think we can help with that. Oh, hey, delicious. Oh, tough crowd. I've seen sloths with more energy than this audience. <laughs> it worked. Tweak to Dashi and Rala. We're inside the cave. Oh, me oh my. The rocks are a mite unstable, Tweak. Gonna have to go slow or we might have another cave in. Hopefully not too slow. Kato needs my help. Now, here's another one for you. Do you know what happens when snow blows in my face? I shiver me whiskers. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, something's coming on in that cave. Oh dear, Quasi's distraction may not be enough. Hmm. Well, Admiral Sweaty Sock, I know we haven't done our routine since the Polar Scouts talent show, but it's showtime. Say, everyone, what have we got here? Well, Admiral Sweaty Sock, these lovely hyenas are the audience. What? Well, I shall entertain them. There once was a scruffy hyena who seemed to get meaner and meaner till she put on a tutu and danced with an emu. And now she's a mean ballerina. Oh! You're a natural comedian, Captain. Just listen to those hyenas laugh. Oh, I don't think they're laughing. I believe that's the sound they make when they're about to hunt. Run! This could take a while. Maybe I can squeeze through that gap in the rocks. Okay, Peso. But be careful. Oh, no. This looks like a dead end. Don't think I can move this rock. Wow! I'm stronger than I thought. Oh, I suppose it was you who moved that rock, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Hi, so you're here. And this must be Kato. I'm Peso, and I'm here to help. Now hold still. There. Is that better? Yes. I think I can stand now. That's one problem solved, but we still need to find a way out. Gemma and I could scout for another exit. Hey. Where's Gemma? I'll use my wonder cam to search the caves. We'll find Gemma, I promise. Come on, we need to get to that frozen creature. It'll take a while to reach him by the looks of this terrain. It seems the frozen ground has melted. Just like our soil sample, but the ground should always stay frozen in Siberia, even in the spring. Well, temperatures have been rising all over the world. It may just not be cold enough for the ground to stay frozen anymore. <gasps> what was that? Sounded like an explosion to me. It's been happening a lot lately. 
Let's go! Let's go! What exactly did you see again? Well, I was just grazing and minding my own business when I came upon a mysterious animal frozen in the ice. A creature the likes of which no one has ever seen before. Behold. Um, what is it? I told you, a mysterious creature the likes of which no one has ever seen before. Hmm. In fact, I believe it is a Siberian salamander. A rather unusual amphibian. Is it all right? Oh, yes. It spends the winter asleep in a deep freeze. So it's hibernating. Yes. They can survive for months like this. This is terribly embarrassing. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Honest mistake. Okay, bye-bye then. Oh, well, I'm glad we got to see it anyway. I'll get a picture of it. Well, it'll simply defrost by itself in time, as long as nothing disturbs it. Look out! Oh, no! That poor salamander! It'll be smashed on the rocks! Not if I can help it! Now that's more like it! Is everyone all right? Yes, okay. Fine, thanks. Yes, uh, I'm good, thanks. The salamander's awake. Hello there. We're the Octonauts. It's nice to meet you. My name is... Oh, well, she was awake. Ah, it must take a while for her body to adjust to coming out of hibernation. She'll be safe over here. Now let's get back to the river and recover my sampling pole. There's no time to waste. I know a shortcut to the river if that helps. Oh, you're awake again. That's settled then. Lead the way. Um, uh... Sasha. Lead the way, Sasha. <laughs> oh, I'll finish this mission later. Hello. Are you a reindeer? No, no, no. I'm an elk. My name is Elton. My name's Pinto. Your antlers are impressive, Elton. Are they strong? Strong enough to defend myself. Here, test them out. <coughs> oh, no. We're on top of an underground sulfur spring. It's smelly. Mm, and extremely hot. We must be very careful. If the ground breaks, we could fall in and get burned. Pinto, there you are. Dashie, Bernie, be careful. What's that smell? Oh, it's sulfur. And this is a sulfur spring. Like a geyser, it's heated by the hot rocks below. And the sulfur also makes the water acidic. Watch. See? Absolutely splashy. And dangerous. A good point. We need to get out of here, Pinto. But we have to help Dashi and Pony. Can you get us up there? Of course I can. Oh, but what now? Focus, Pinto. Focus. The ropes. Oh, mind if I tie these to your strong antlers? Not at all. Back up and pull when I give you the signal, okay? I'm at the ready. Dashi! Marty! Pinto! What are you doing up there? We're saving you! Grab the rope! <laughs> got, it. got it! All right, Elton. Activate antlers! <laughs> Easy now. That's it. Cool. <laughs> Splendid. Thank you, Pinto. And thank you, uh, Elton, was it? That's my name, at your service. Thank you, Elton. 
And Pinto, well, that was some quick thinking. Without your help, Dashi and I would have been in hot water. Stinky, burning hot water. Even stinkier than that bombardier beetle. I'm just glad you're both safe. But now, we've got to get you home. Let's call Peso and let him know you made it home safely. Hi, Peso. I made it home. <laughs> I know. I'm standing right behind you. <gasps> we finished helping the sea turtles, and I thought I'd drop by to give you something. <gasps> An octo watch? Dashi said you earned it today. That's right. I'm so proud of you. Junior Octo Agent Pinto. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to the Octoray. Wow, look at that. I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond. 